Hey, what's cracking, y'all? It's Monday. Get after it. Um, starting a new adventure. You know what I'm saying? So, just get after it. And um, yeah, shout out to my homies. When I was in high school, um, which I'm in my 30s now, so I was in. I graduated in 2008. But every Friday when we had our our varsity football game. Our coach would take us into a room, like right after we would have our team meal, we'll go to a room, maybe talk about the game, maybe watch a little bit of film with the other team, which is something that I, I feel like our coaches didn't really implement film a lot. Like film isn't the most important thing. It's like watching your mistakes and it's also watching the team you're up against. So it's very important, you know what I'm saying? In any type of sport, I would assume, you know, you wanna show your, 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 your players, your team, the film of themselves so they can get better, you know what I mean? So. Um, I don't know. I just think that, uh, uh, anyway, so, but I remember, I don't know if this was junior year or, or if this, this is for the Ram fans out there, the people who are, are St. Louis, I mean, I mean, LA Ram fans. Matthew Stafford is their coach, right? I mean, is their quarterback right now, and he's really good. But when I was in high school, either a junior or a senior, my football coach showed me a documentary when Matthew Stafford was in high school. The show it like followed him and his uh, high school team in Georgia. It's just amazing how long he's been playing and like he's been playing for a shitty organization, which was Detroit Lions. Uh, they've been known to be a pretty like a, a, a non-winning organization for a long time, you know. And but they kept him, and he was still playing for so many years through injuries and whatnot. Maybe even bringing other competition in, you know. He's just always he's been in there so long, and now he's playing with the Rams, and he's. He's performing at a high level and I, I totally just remembered I remember watching that documentary but I just remember him being like the highlighted high school player and it's just so amazing how like now he's getting his uh, shine you know it's only seven games into the NFL season but the Rams are obviously looking like a really good team because they're beating teams that they should be beating I was talking to my friend Fernando about that because he's a Ram fan so I told him like you know you're a good team when you beat teams you're supposed to beat you know and uh so I just wanted to mention that. I wanted to give you guys just talk to me. I'm mean, having a good day, man. And uh, feeling okay. Shout out to those who heard my la my latest two songs. Uh, peace. I, think I got a problem, low key. This is uh, it's like almost it's like 1:30 right now, and um, yeah, fucking, I got another coffee. I got a small coffee. There's like a truck full of like two movers right here. They're probably just staring at me, but. Yeah, I got it. just wanted another coffee. It's kind of a gloomy day today. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, when it, when I walked into the McDonald's, some other lady simultaneously was walking with me, and uh, she was gorgeous. She is gorgeous, and she was. And um, I just wanted to tell her, "Then you're beautiful," you know. I wanted. I was just gonna tell her that, like, just in a real honest way. <laughs> but I think she ordered before me, and I just ordered a regular coffee. And I told the guy I'm gonna use the restroom because I had to use the restroom. And when I came out, I was like gonna like tell her like, "No, you're beautiful, you know." But um, I never got the chance to. But um, yeah, she's 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 a dime, bro. She was freaking beautiful. I was standing behind her, and I I was appreciating, you know, her God-given beauty, you know. And I'm sure she works hard. I'm sure she goes to the gym and takes care of herself. She probably was raised by a family that put her in sports. You know what I mean? She looked like a very respectable woman, you know? I even noticed on her tights, she had a little small hole. Like, ain't nobody rich around here where you got, like, new tights every day and shit like that. You get me? But, damn, she was... <laughs> for my homies that watch my videos, they're going to laugh at me. But, damn, she, I wish you guys would have seen her. I wish I would have been able to talk to her. But anyway, so I'm walking to the restroom and this gentleman comes out, an older gentleman dressed pretty sharp. And I was like, oh, excuse me. I was, I was letting him go, gonna go past me, you know? Cause the, the hallway to the restroom is kind of small in the, in the McDonald's. And he stops me and he asks me for some, he's like, where's this city at? And I'm already in the city. I'm in that particular city, but he wanted to go to the street that's named after the city we were in. So I just, I was like, oh damn, I don't really know, bro. I could point you like to that direction. Like he was an older guy. I guess he didn't know how to use GPS or something. So sure enough, when I come out the restroom, he's asking that beautiful young lady who might be a little bit older than me, might be around my age. And he's talking to her. 
But mind you, I, I barely have a coffee, you feel me? So my shit was already done when it came out. And he was still talking to us, and I walked out. And I was low-key going to wait. But for some reason, I was waiting outside the door. Just, I was just going to tell her she's beautiful. I don't care what people think, you know? Maybe she needs to hear it, you know? So, but as soon as I, like, was starting to walk to my truck, that's when they, like, decided to come out. And, like, I don't know. I just thought she was amazing and beautiful. You know, maybe she would have been, in my wildest dream, she would have been into me, you know? But a lot of my music, I put lyrics, like, a lot of times in music, you're just creating, like, a make-believe thing. It might be how you really feel emotionally, but it might also s seem kind of cap, you know, kind of like, just like, I can make a song saying I'm a millionaire, but really I'm broke, you know, that's just kind of what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, she was gorgeous, bro. She was beautiful. I gotta go, man. Peace. Ten. I walked pretty far, to be honest with you. But um, it's weird. I never seen um, I actually never worked on fusion this big, but it seems like you just need bigger adapters. Like it's still the same size fuse. Like they would just need a big um melter, like the big melter that you put in that melts. Cause this is made of plastic, and it melts back. And um, I believe this is water. I don't think they only gas over here. It's just all water. Just feeding probably the cities over there or something. But I was like, I never seen these pipes before. Cause I seen they have steel over there, but I think over here they started using the they started using the fusion technology. It's when you burn the plastic, but before you burn it, there's a clamp and you keep bringing it back and forth to make sure that these two pipes line up. Cause this is a connection. These two pipes were separate at one point. It's crazy, huh? So this is a bigger, I don't know where that's feeding. That's huge comes through here which i don't know what this is a meter it's a meter of some sorts it's a meter or it's um it's a filter or something but i don't know what this is to be real i have no idea what that is and that's a shut off that might be a shut off too right here i have no idea but that means it's only open halfway then it'll close again because i don't see no other way it would I'm not sure what that is that could be um I don't know strainer or some shit I don't know oh no it is a it is a fusion technology they put sandbags on it so it doesn't fall down wonder why they left it exposed it's probably they're probably happy doing that like hell yeah just pound these motherfuckers in wonder how low this is this is obviously teeing off for something main. There's probably something as big as that, like right here. They're like, oh, we got to feed that way. So they came up, went that way. I don't know. They probably I have no idea. Maybe there's a return line. I have no idea. Maybe one's hot and one's cold. Look. There's another line over here, which I branch off from over there. I don't know. It's pretty insane. Over here, they painted it. Yeah, this is not fused. This is actually put in with glue. See these ones? This is a glue right here. Can't believe that shit. This has been chilling like that. This is fused. I must have used an adapter right here. I just... How that could be upside like this. This is mostly glue. I have no idea what's going on. So it comes up from over here. Yeah. I believe this has to be a shut off. Look at that big ass handle. Maybe there's a bypass over here or something. I 
just walked a little further than I usually go for my hike. And um, I don't know, just decided to do that. And um, peace, y'all. They always say crows wait for something to die or something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. You know how like they wait around, like vultures, they, they follow you waiting for you to die so they can eat your body. There was this documentary on Netflix about some guy who does like these crazy events. So there was like this marathon in the in the desert somewhere like in, I'm not sure where, Maybe like Saudi Arabia, somewhere in the Middle East. I can't really remember, but it was a crazy, crazy documentary on Netflix. I highly recommend you watch it because it's incredible. I watched it fade and I had to turn off and like re replay. I was like, this shit is insane. You should watch him. Like I said, it's a TV, it's a documentary story about a real story about a man who got lost in the middle of the desert and what happened to him on his journey. Check it out. It's on Netflix. You might have to Google what I'm saying, the synopsis, but it's pretty dope. I'm sure it'll pop up. It's like these. It's, it's not in English either. I think they're like Italian. Italian or French, I'm not sure. Peace. Hey, check this out. I'm about to eat. I bought myself some Panda Express. And I got here. My mom dogs eat fucking poop and shit. Just have to give them something. Dogs mac and cheese. You start giving them fucking meat and stuff. I don't want to eat that fucking other bullshit. She doesn't want to play. I just want to enjoy time with humans and stuff. Looks like an edible. So I don't know if I'm gonna trust it. <laughs>